welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Common Scenarios, Book of Moon Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the scenarios that uh, we see with Book of Moon. Like before, you know, I'll have the AI programmed and we'll showcase some scenarios that you'll find with Book of Moon. I also want to say just a quick note. I want to thank all of you guys that have watched one of my latest, vi one of my latest videos, which I posted last week, which was to do with let's explain Yu-Gi-Oh problems. Uh, that's had quite a lot of views, so yeah, I was I was really shocked. I'm getting emotional. Nice. Yeah, I did. I didn't think I'd have a video get more views than my subscriber count. It's all coming together. That's all I've got to say about that. Let's now get hit back with reality, and and let's. I'll move on to the rest of the video. I activate the effect of Aluba the Jester of Dispia. Not so fast. Before you resolve Aluba, I will activate effect Vela to negate it. The fun is only just beginning. To counter that I activate Book of Moon putting Aluba the Jester of Dispia face down, meaning you lose the target to negate, thus I am able to successfully resolve Aluba's effect. Are you allowed to do that? I believe the answer that you are looking for is yes. Nothing wrong with that chain of events, Effect Valor targets Aluber. Since Aluber was put face down, the target for Effect Valor has vanished. Please take note set monsters are classed as unidentified monsters, meaning the card becomes nameless, so effects that involve targeting are automatically cancelled and the card's effect still resolves as normal. I activate Robina's effect. I don't think so. I will counter with infinite impermanence to negate your Rubina. Counter plot. It'll chain the face down card. Book of Moon putting my Robina face down meaning I dodge your trap. Wait, what? Yes, I know what you were thinking. This is all perfectly legal. This is all to do with set monsters. Set monsters are when you place a monster face down. Set monsters are classed as unidentified monsters as at this stage they have not been summoned. This gives them a unique advantage on effects that target for negation purposes. To negate a monster, that monster must be face up and it gets a classification on summon. The class is the name of the monster that you say on summon explaining its stats and effects. Only cards that have a classification in Yu-Gi-Oh can activate their effects. So the moment you put the monster face down it loses its class meaning targeted negation fails. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. 